During my twofold career as a radio news reporter and a military man of some 23 years of service, I've encountered a number of incidences in the field of UFOs or unidentified flying objects to honestly believe that they are here, that they are real. For example, in 1954, I'm convinced that I had a sighting of a triangular formation of flying saucers over the coast of Santa Monica. At that time, I had reason to look to the skies. I was on a street intersection in Los Angeles, some six or seven miles east of the city boundary of Santa Monica, and I was surveying the skies because I had been doing radio broadcasts for some time and had been capping them with weather forecasts. Unfortunately, the weatherman had been erroneous for the past two or three days, so I was looking to the skies to see if tonight he was perhaps right in predicting April showers. Now, my gaze was captured by three luminous disks over the coast of Santa Monica, arranged in triangular fashion. I watched these disks for approximately a minute, and then suddenly, with intervals of two or three seconds between the disappearance of each disk, they disappeared, one followed by another, and they all went in a path of a northwesterly direction, leaving no trail whatsoever behind them. And what was incredible was the fact that they seemed to vanish as if the sky was nothing more than a sponge. That's how fast they seemed to disappear. Several months later, I had the opportunity of covering a story for a magazine, Pageant Magazine, a story, the locale of which was in San Fernando Valley. This had to do with a UFO sighting and a subsequent cropping of some very fine material, mysterious material, if you will, which I like to call angel's hair because it resembled the angel's hair which we decorate our Christmas trees. Now, the story itself was not too impressive to me. It was an impressive story, but the real impressive thing to me was the fact that the United States Air Force dispatched a major to interview me as the author of the story and the people to whom I talked to get the story, which demonstrated to me that the United States Air Force regards the UFO and any phenomena attached to UFO certainly as within the realm of possibility and probability certainly not on the borderline of science fiction. I have talked during my career as a reporter with many, many people who have had sightings of UFOs and who have given me the complete impression that they too, as I feel, believe that UFOs are real and that there are visitors here in our Earth from outer space.